The Ocean Cleanup, the Dutch nonprofit organization developing technologies to rid the world's oceans of plastic, is ramping up production of its Interceptor, an autonomous system that removes plastic waste from rivers before it is able to reach the ocean. The Ocean Cleanup currently has three interceptors operating in Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Dominican Republic, with a fourth due to launch in Vietnam early next year. On Thursday, December 10th, the organization announced a partnership with Cone Cranes, a Finnish company that produces lifting equipment. Cone Cranes will handle manufacturing, installation, and maintenance of the interceptor with local partners. The company is already building two interceptors at its MHE DMAG facility in Klang, Malaysia. The interceptor is powered by solar energy and uses lithium-ion batteries, which theoretically enables it to operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The vessel is anchored to the riverbed and uses a floating barrier that guides plastic waste from the river into the system's conveyor belt. Once plastic waste is on board, it is automatically put into one of six dumpsters on a barge inside the system. The system alerts local operators once all six dumpsters on board are full. Local operators then send over a vessel to collect the plastic waste. The barge is taken back to shore with the plastic waste and emptied for recycling. The barge is then reattached to the interceptor to collect more plastic debris. Ocean Cleanup states on its website that the interceptor is capable of extracting 50,000 kilograms of trash a day. The organization claims that under optimal conditions, that number could increase to 100,000 kilograms of waste per day. Ocean Cleanup has ambitious plans of tackling 1,000 of the world's most polluting rivers by 2025. The organization says it has established that these waterways, which comprise 1% of the world's rivers, are responsible for 80% of plastic waste present in oceans. In October, the organization announced that it would sell sunglasses made from plastic it has recycled from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch to help fund its operators. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.